He's looking for me. Stop. Oh man. What's going on guys, it's you. In today's video, I'm talking about the best Groza class setup for season two of Cold War. Before we get into this video, I do wanna say if you do enjoy today's video, I'd really appreciate if you could like, comment, subscribe, upload every single day, and if you are new and you could subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. We did just hit 1.4 thousand subscribers, and I am trying to hit 2,000 here soon. So like I said, if you are new and you do enjoy my content, subscribing would be so appreciated. But anyways, let's get straight back into this video, and as I said, we are talking about the Groza, um, a assault rifle i almost called this a submachine gun um this is a dlc submachine gun it is very very underrated but these attachments will take it to the next level and the first attachment that we are talking about is the kbg eliminator it gives us uh plus 17 vertical recoil control is the big reason on why you want to run this the groza has quite a bit of recoil so you do want to run this to um you know help with the recoil control i also want to point out I I am not running a optic on this because the iron sights on this thing are beautiful. Very similar to the Grawl from Modern Warfare. Next, we are running the 16.7 VDV reinforced plus 100% effective damage range. Beautiful on this gun because it looks like a submachine gun, but it is an assault rifle. So that helps a lot. Plus 40% bullet velocity. I don't think people realize how good that is when you are looking to do, um, you know, damage to people and how fast you want to kill them. So definitely recommend running that. Uh, Stadium laser on here. Why not get more hit fire accuracy if you get the choose if you get it or not So, you know, whatever special has grip to help with more recoil control You know why we'll have recoil here, you know I love having as much ammo as possible and it's a fast mag so it helps out quite a bit But if you did not see the negative on that is it aimed on sight time and coming up next is my favorite attachment in the game GRU will last scrap plus 30% aimed on sight time plus a 90% blitz resistance and the ability to drop shot absolutely beautiful attachment and finally, we are running the KGB pad, plus 30% spread to fire time, and plus 40% aim walking movement speed. But anyways, that is all for my Groza class setup. For the rest of the class, I did run the knife, stem shot, molotov, gas mine, flat jacket, scavenger, gung ho, and how I'm running that many attachments is gunfighter. But anyways, as I said, that is all for my Groza class setup. Let me know what you guys think of it. Give it a shot on Warzone. Let me know if it's good. I have not tried it out in there yet, but... um. I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys over to the gameplay that I got with this absolutely insane gameplay, so be sure to stick around for that. And it's been you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Of course, there's a guy sitting top. He's looking for me. Stop. Oh man. That's pop off. I love how the Graza iron size a little. Yeah. This Skinno kid is the same guy that keeps killing me. He's using a thermal creep. Can't wait 
to get that new headset, bro. So I don't gotta worry about this falling off my head. I don't have gold on this thing yet. Popping off, bro. Oh, he's coming for me. You thought? He's lost. Two more. Flip. Oh, he left. You coming up here, buddy? Feeling. I just died on a 29, bro. His crouch walking had ghost and cold blooded. That's crazy. So I got plenty of time to pop off. So bad. Oh, bro, the same kid with that CDL skin. He just hit fired me. See a thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, he punched me. I was so low. That was smart, though. I was going to get him 100%. The issue with kill confirms is you pop off and teammates pop off on tags. <laughs> 